<laughs> we are all one. Long ago, there was a rich man with a disease in his eyes. For many years, the pain was so great that he could not sleep at night. He saw every doctor he could, but none of them could help him. What good is all my money? He groaned. Finally, he became so desperate that he sent his servants through the city, announcing to offer a reward to anyone who could cure him. In that city lived a candy peddler. He would walk around with his baskets of candy. But he was so kind-hearted that he gave away as much as he sold. So he was always poor. When the old peddler heard the announcement, he remembered something his mother said. It is about a magical herb that was good for the eyes. So he packed up his baskets and went back to the tiny room in which his family lived. He told his plan to his wife, but his wife scolded him. But the old peddler was stubborn. The next morning, the next morning, he left the city very early. He did not stop until he went deep into the woods, where as a boy he had often, often wandered there. As he examined the ground, he noticed ants scurrying about. On their backs were worms like giant grains, or white grains of rice. A rock had fallen into the stream, so the water now was filled into the ants' nest. The kind-hearted peddler said, so he waded into the shallow stream and put the rock on the bank. Then with a sharp stick, he dug a shallow ditch that sent the rest of the water back into the stream. Without another thought about his good deed, he began to search through the forest. He looked everywhere. But as, day, as the day went on, he grew sleepy. And so he lay down under an old tree where he fell right asleep. In his dreams, the old settler found himself standing in the middle of a great city. Tall buildings rose overhead. He couldn't see the sky even when he tilted back his head. An escort of soldiers marched up to him with a loud clatter of their black lacquer armor. Our queen, our queen wishes to see you, the captain said. The frightened peddler could only obey and let the fierce soldier lead him to a shining place. There, a woman with high crown sat upon a tall throne. Trembling, the old peddler fell to his knees and touched his forehead against the floor. But the queen ordered him to stand. Like the great emperor, you tamed the great flood. We're all one now. You have only to ask, or I have, or I or any of my people will come to your aid. The old peddler cleared his throat. I'm look I am looking for a certain the old peddler cleared his throat. Most of the roof itself had fallen in. 
but still the ruins would provide some protection. And he started inside. He saw, he saw a centipede with bright, or, and bright orange skin and two red stripes along its back. Yellow dots covered its sides like a dozen tiny eyes. It was also rushing to the temple as fast as it, as it could, but there was a bird whooping, swooping down to it. <laughs> The peddler waved his arms and shouted, scaring the bird away. Then he put down his palm in front of the insect. We are all one. The many feet tickled the skin as the centipede climbed onto his hand. He gathered to a legion old sticks and had the fire going. The peddler even picked some fresh leaves for the centipede from a bush nearby. Stretching out beside the fire, the old peddler soon fell asleep. <laughs> Suddenly, he thought he heard footsteps near his head. He woke instantly and looked about, but he only saw the brightly colored, colored centipede. Thank <laughs> you. 